Hey everyone, Trey Amick from Magnet Forensics here. Today we're going to look at how we can use Magnet AI inside of Axiom to quickly investigate an employee's claim of harassment. Usually harassment investigations will begin with an HR request for investigating an individual based on information they received, whether it be from the victim, manager, or a third party witness. In this case, the victim, Dante Grimes, has reached out to HR, claiming his direct supervisor, Selena Kyle, has been harassing him both on work channels as well as his personal Facebook account. To start a case, I went ahead and identified this case type as an HR investigation, and I've created a folder for my case file. It's important to note, since we are acquiring evidence from cloud sources for this case, that we went ahead and made sure we specified where we wanted that acquired evidence to be located. In this case, I've actually put it in the same folder as my Axiom case file. From here, we're going to go ahead to go to evidence sources, and we're going to add in our first piece of evidence. This will actually be Selena's Slack account. So we'll go to acquire, we'll go to Slack. We're going to sign in, username and password. We'll start by adding in the Slack workspace information, MF Dev Solutions. We'll hit continue. Next, we'll add in Selena's account information. And we'll go ahead and sign in. This is Slack saying, are you sure you want to give us access? And we do want to give Axiom access. So we'll hit confirm. Next, we'll go ahead and set the date range for this. We'll do after July 1st, since Dante said that this harassment claim really started uh, over the course of the month of July. So we'll go July 1st and we'll hit select all. So we'll be grabbing all of Selena's Slack conversations. We'll hit next. So we've got Selena's Slack account. Let's go ahead and add in another account by going back to cloud. We'll go back to acquire evidence. This time we're actually gonna go ahead and grab Microsoft and we're gonna grab Selena's email as well. So we'll do username and password once again. For this, we'll go ahead and put Selena's information in. It's important to note too for our Office 365 investigations, if you are set up as admin, you can absolutely log in as yourself and then, then acquire the specific accounts you want, or you can log in as the user you wanna acquire from as well. So you can either pick as an admin or you can acquire that uh, exact account by just logging in. So I've uh, put in her username and password, I'm gonna hit sign in. Now that we've signed into Selena's Microsoft Office 365 account, I'm going to go ahead and say, once again, date range after July 1st. And for this case, I'm just going to grab uh, the Office 365 mail. I'm not too concerned about uh, OneDrive or audit logs for this case. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And for this case, because Dante has given us consent and he said there was also some harassment on his personal Facebook account, I'm going to go ahead and acquire his account since he has given that consent. So I'm going to go back to cloud. I will go to acquire evidence. I'll go to Facebook and I'm going to sign in with username and password. For this, I'll use Dante's information. Dante did specify that we can only look at the last month's worth of data, which that's fine since that's when the harassment was going on. So I'm going to go ahead and say after once again, and I'm going to just grab just the month of July and I'm going to grab all uh, his pieces of Facebook data that we can pull from. Specifically, we're going to be looking for his timeline. Uh, he said Selena was commenting on pictures inappropriately. From here, I'm going to go ahead and hit next. Now that we've got our three accounts added in, I'm going to go on to our, some of our processing details. And for this, I'm actually going to go down to the categorization of chats with Magnet AI. So this is really important. So we can absolutely use this to our advantage because what we're looking for here is possible sex related content or maybe grooming, luring content where, you know, somebody's slowly building up, you know, the personal reactions between one another. And this isn't just going to look for one particular message. This is going to look at the context of those messages over the course of a conversation. So we're going to go ahead and have those selected to see if that's going to help narrow down our focus for this investigation. Now that we have those selected, I'm going to go on down to Cloud Artifacts. And for this, since we've got a Microsoft account, I'm going to select Microsoft. I'm going to select Slack. And lastly, Facebook. And then from here, I'm going to go ahead and hit Go to Analyze Evidence. Confirm we've got our evidence that we want and they're ready to image. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Analyze Evidence. 
we're going to let Axiom acquire the evidence and we'll be back in just a few minutes. Now that we've processed our evidence, let's go ahead and take a quick look at what we found here. And as you can see on the right hand side, we have magnet AI categorization and we do have some possible hits for grooming and luring content. So we'll take a look at that here in just a few minutes, but let's start with the Facebook data since Dante said Selena was leaving inappropriate uh, messages on his timeline on his personal account. So let's go ahead and do view evidence for this source only. Let's start by going down to cloud, friends, and let's see if we can confirm that they are friends on Facebook. And sure enough, we see a Lena Kyle. So it'd be safe to assume that this would be Selena. I'm going to go ahead and right click on Lena's name and do add bookmark. So I can have this for my report. Next, since we know her name now, instead of having to go through all of these different options and artifacts to look for potentially what Dante was alluding to, I'm actually just going to go ahead and build a quick filter and just type in Kyle and see what we get. Now we've uh, really limited our data sets down and let's look at the timeline here. And sure enough, let's see, gonna be good eats for me and the girlfriend tonight. Dante posted on July 19th. Scroll down, we have a picture and video and we have uh, Selena leaving a comment saying that they she would have never let uh, Dante off if she had known it had been for, you know, spending time with his girlfriend. So. There's the message that I would uh, be willing to bet that's what Dante was alluding to. So I'm going to go ahead and add that from our report as well. So we'll have that. I'm going to go ahead and remove the Kyle filter. And next go back from artifact view. I'm going to go right back over to my case dashboard. And this time let's look at uh, since we already have some bookmarks added now, let's go on down and let's actually look at the artifacts for the Magnet AI categorization piece. So we have our messages loaded and obviously we could absolutely go one at a time straight down and look at these, but I'm actually going to switch since we're looking at conversations, I'm going to actually switch from column view here and go right on over to our conversation view. So this threads out the conversation very nicely for us. It also gives us a preview to the right here as well with the chat bubbles, which is fantastic for the non-technical stakeholders. So when you present your report, they will be able to see the same view and get a good understanding of what's going on here. So let's take a look at this since AI hit on this and see if we can find potentially what the artificial intelligence hit on while it was doing its scan. So we're looking through, looks like uh, talking about a recent vacation. Selena was asking Dante if he had ever been to the curb Caribbean. Really, you should totally come with me. I can pull some strings, get you the time off that you need. Dante's asking about, you know, can he bring his girlfriend along? And then Selena's once again saying, hoping it was just you and I. Looks like Selena was talking about uh, his re uh, review may be impacted if he didn't go as well. And then a little bit of conversation, obviously, about work as well in there. But once again, now here, Selena's talking about going to San Antonio, spending some time together there as well. And once again, Selena asking about his girlfriend. So these chats really tell a story about what Dante was alluding to as far as there being some inappropriate conversations with his direct manager. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of these and actually add these in for my report as well. So I'm going to, they're already tagged as possible grooming and luring, but I'm going to go ahead and bookmark these as well. So we'll have those for our report now. So we've, we've looked at Facebook. We absolutely confirmed what Dante showed us there. We have also now identified uh, Slack conversations where once we hit drop down, I want to see all of the bookmarks. Now I'm going to uncheck the possible grooming and luring since we've got those tagged as well. I'm going to hit okay. And I'm going to switch from conversation view here back to column view so we can see all of our bookmarks. And now that we've done that, we see we got all of our Slack conversations. We also have our Facebook information, our Facebook uh, friend information that we've tagged as well. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and make a quick report because it looks like what Dante is saying is absolutely happening and that we need to get this back over to HR so they can uh, go ahead and wrap up their investigation. So I'm going to go ahead and right click. I'm going to do create report. This report I'm actually going to select as an HTML report. I'm going to have this saved to my case folder. And for this, I'm going to do items in current view, or we could do tagged items. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do tagged items and select just the bookmarks for this since we added our lowering content to our bookmarks as well. From here, I'm going to go ahead and hit create. Looks like the HTML has been created. So we'll go ahead and open that up. 
And from here now we can see all of our case information. We can start with our Facebook friends. Sure enough, there is Selena's Kyle's Facebook friend information that we got from Dante's profile. We can click on his Facebook timeline information. And sure enough, when we come over, we can get all the information that we've pulled from that where he was talking about this is going to be a good night uh, spending with his girlfriend. From there, we can go on to the Slack messages that we tagged that are part of this investigation that really helped tell the story of that harassment that was going on. And when we scroll to the right here, here's where we can hyperlink those chat bubbles that will really help tell the story for the non-technical stakeholders. They'll be able to easily read through this and get an immediate understanding as to what was going on here. So this is just one way you can use Magnet AI to help tell the story and help really cull down uh, your conversations list so you don't have to just go aimlessly wandering through you know, chats you know, to really help narrow your focus and really expedite your investigations. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.